Hi, this is Lakshmi from India Hikes. In this video, I'm going to talk about frostbite. In the last video, we actually covered about chilblain, which is also a form of cold injury. What is the difference between frostbite and chilblain? Chilblain happens when your body is exposed to cold temperatures, maybe damp uh, cold, but not freezing cold. Frostbite, on the other hand, happens when your when the cold is below freezing, so much so that your entire tissue starts to freeze. So that is the main difference between a chilblain and a frostbite. Having said that, a lot of similarities are there between a chilblain and a frostbite. Uh, for example, there are different stages to frostbite and the first stage almost sounds very similar to what you will experience when you are having chilblain. So, you will experience that your extremities start to get waxy or white. You will start to see slowly blisters forming. In fact, it might look red. You will start seeing fluid inside those extremities. So, these, this means you are starting to get uh, frostbite and that's the first stage of frostbite and that is a signal for you to actually take care of yourself a lot of what to do to prevent this and what to do to take care of it is very similar to what we discussed in the chill blame video to just summarize you need to make sure that all your extremities are covered because frostbite can happen in all kinds of extremities it is important that every one of them is covered for example your ears your nose your fingertips uh, and your toes all are prone to uh, frostbite so it is very important that all of them are taken good care of uh, when you can't do that making sure that you're thawing that affected part in warm water is the remedy that you need to take along with any pain medication that you might want so that's how you deal with the first stage of frostbite if you don't address it at that point of time it can actually get much severe so there is the next stage which is partial thickness frostbite and then the full thickness frostbite that might sound quite technical but what exactly it means is that if this is your extremity right now it is not just the blood vessel that is uh, that is constricting it is because it is constricting and because the temperature is uh, freezing even your skin cells or the cells within your body it is starting to freeze if you remember uh, the entire cell has almost 70 percent of water so what happens when this uh, structure is exposed to such freezing cold is that it starts forming ice crystals essentially your cells starts to freeze um, completely so whether your body is getting blood or not your cells start, cells start to die so the extent of how much uh, tissue damage is happening differs between your partial thickness and the full thickness uh, frostbite so essentially if it is partial thickness it means that it is freezing but it is not gone through to your bone if it is full thickness it is even gone till your bone so that is the biggest difference if you have allowed this to happen it means the severity of the injury is quite high which means there might be permanent damage unlike chill play so what can you do when something like this happens um, is essentially you can do only the same thing that we do for chillblain also which is try to thaw your body part so first ensure that you're coming to a warm zone you're making sure that you are covering your extremities ensure that you are covering it in such a way that uh, each digit is separate so that it doesn't scratch with each other and you're not allowing that water fluid uh, filled uh, blister to pop out Second is uh, when they when it comes down to normal, it can start to change color. It can become purple. It can become black. That actually tells you that frostbite is setting in. Um, you can try to thaw. Basically, put your hands or your feet or any of that body in uh, warm water that is about 90 uh, degree uh, Fahrenheit. But that's all that you can do at this point of time. What you need to do when you see something like this is immediately go to a doctor. There are medical procedures which tries to recover some part of the dead tissue or damaged tissue for that matter. Uh, but it depends on how quickly you are able to get access to medical help. So it is important that you are able to get access to medical help as soon as possible when you start noticing the frostbite happening. Um, 
and that's about it this is the most that we can do when it comes to frostbite so that's why prevention with regards to frostbite is much much more important so making sure again that you are covering your extremities uh, ensuring that you are um, uh, that you're keeping yourself active you are constantly um, having something warm to eat or drink on a regular basis all of this is quite important also not smoking helps ensure that you are uh, you are not predisposed to getting frostbite more likely uh, so yeah that's it uh, these are some of the steps that you can take to ensure that you don't get frostbite and not just that anyone around you doesn't get frostbite hope this was helpful thank you